Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So, today I will continue a lecture for chapter 2, Something Distribution and Confident Interval. So, this is the general expected outcome uh, you, that you have learned or you have gone through before. And this is the full content. Okay, so previously you have learned 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3. Okay, so today we'll cover 2.4. So, basically 2.4. The concept is similar with 2.3. That means you find confident interval for parameter. Okay, for population parameter or for parameters. Okay, when we say parameters, you should know parameters is for population. Alright, so 2.4, the parameter that we focus on is a proportion, population proportion, which is pi. Okay. So, this is subtopic 2.4, confident interval for population proportion. So, your expected outcome or basically you should know when you watch this video or when you learn this subtopic, first you must know how to estimate the confident interval for a population proportion and then you must know how to estimate the sample size by using the concept of confident interval for the population proportion. Okay, so this is the only formula that we use to find the confident interval for one population proportion. Okay, so if you look here, this is your P, alright, this is your P, it's a sample proportion. What is P? X over N. So, X is number of success and N is the sample size. Okay, and then Z is a, Z alpha over 2 is a value which you get from the statistical table. And this is the standard deviation for the distribution. Okay. So, this formula is given in your statistical table. So, you can look your statistical table, page 5 if I'm mistaken. Yes, page 5. Oh, no, sorry. Page 6. Yeah, page 6. If you look page 6, okay, uh, at the very uh, below row, okay, you can see confident interval for pi. Alright, so the formula is given but you must know what is it, what is the value. Okay, so again, P is a sample proportion. Z alpha over 2 is a value that you get from the stati statistical table. So this Z shows is a Z table, okay, that you have learned before. And this is the standard deviation, okay. And the pi should be between 0 and 1 value. Okay, so now look this example. Oh, before that, this is the sample size formula. Alright, so sample size which is N equal to Z alpha over 2 divided by E square and then times P times 1 minus P. So again here, this formula is given uh, in your statistical table. You can look page 8. Okay, so important here you should know Z alpha over 2, you get it from the Z table, statistical table, okay, which is a critical value. And then E is the estimation error, okay, usually it's given in a, in a question. So P is a sample proportion, which is X over N, and this is 1 minus P, okay. Sometimes this one can be replaced with Q, lah, okay. If you look previous slide, uh, Q is a 1 minus P, so sometimes they just use PQ here. Alright. So, in here, you must remember that if the sample proportion is not uh, given, okay, or consider is equal, you should put P or Q equal with 0 0.5. Okay, this one. Uh, there is a question like this lah in uh, tutorial question. Okay. And this is one-sided lower bound and one-sided upper bound for pi okay for one population proportion so you can see here one sided lower bound it will be at your left side so that's mean you calculate from this value to the right okay so this is uh, p minus the rest here but you must remember here all right you calculate from the left side until to the right so to the right will be one okay and then here the, the, the difference is alpha should not divide by 2 because you just only have one sided. Okay. 
and then for the upper bound okay you can see that you will calculate uh, your calculation is at the right so here you will have plus sign here all right and then you will have from zero to what you calculate okay so you can see it should be from zero until b b is the one that you calculate all right we'll go through by example for sure all right so look this example uh, the fraction of defective integrated circuit produced in a photolithography process is being studied okay from the first sentence can you see is it a mean or is it a proportion okay how do you know it's a proportion so proportion usually you have two outcome okay for example uh, defective non-defective true or false yes or no so if you look at the first sentence here they are talking about the fraction of defective integrated circuit. So you have defective, you have non-defective. So most probably, this is a proportion question. Okay. So the second sentence, you can see that a random sample of 200 circuit is tested. So what is 200 circuit? Is your N, isn't it? So if you look here, this 200 circuit is a sample. Alright, so this is your N. Okay, this is your N. And then revealing 13 defective. Alright, if you look here, this is the keyword defective. So you know this is a proportion. You have two outcome. Uh, defective, non-defective. And then from 200 circuit here, you get 13 defective. So basically, this is your X. Okay x because it's a number of something okay so question a calculate a 95 percent confident interval on the fraction of defective circuit produced by this process so if you look here you can see that they ask you a 95 percent confident interval so yes they ask you to find confident interval so from 95 percent here you can see that your alpha is equal with 0 0.05 right so the alpha here is 0 0.05 okay so if you look this question they didn't mention are they one one-sided upper or one-sided lower isn't it so your alpha should be divided by 2 okay, okay i'm sorry i don't have a pen okay i just use mouse here right so this is alpha divided by 2 okay uh, just to make a uh, early notification lah okay you can see that from this 95 percent confident interval you can see your alpha is 0 0.05 and then this is two-sided confident interval your alpha should be divided by 2 all right and then uh, on the fraction of defective circuit so if you look here the keyword is fraction of defective circuit so you can see that what the parameter they concern about okay again you have four parameter okay in this uh, course you have four main parameters that you learn for chapter two and chapter three letter so you have population mean pro population proportion population variance population standard deviation so how do you know it's a population proportion when you have two outcome all right so here they are talking about fraction of defective circuit so defective you have two outcome okay either defective or non-defective all right so that's why you know the parameter that they concern here is your pi okay which is proportion all right and give a comment on the resulted confident interval so for one population proportion you only have one formula to be used which is in chair in page five of your statistical table and then from the formula you can see that uh, you only use or you only refer z table all right so if you remember here all right uh, you only have this one formula and here we only refer z table all right so this is basically how to solve the uh, question Alright, so here you can see from the formula, you can see you have P. So what is P? P is X over N. Alright, so that's why from the question here, you can see that your X is 13. Alright, because this one is defective. 
and then they also want the defective uh, confident interval so that's why x over n so this is your page 0 0.0650 and then this one if you look uh, statistical table all right this one page 36 all right so alpha is 0 0.05 you divide by 2 you get 1.96 okay you can see uh, on page 36 okay look your alpha 0 0.025 okay 0 0.05 divided by 2 you get 0 0.025 0 0.025 is equal with 1.96 so everything is here all the value is here so you just substitute into the formula all right so then you get uh, answer you must have two answer all right and then four decimal places and remember here, okay, you must have negative sign value on the left and positive sign value on at the right. A note value, a note assign, okay. It's an operation, right? Uh, subtract operation and this one is additional operation. And the value for the left should be uh, lower than uh, right. Uh, so, graphically, you have this curve, okay. This curve is not uh, compulsory for you to uh, to draw okay for this chapter and from the question they ask you to find or to interpret the, the result okay what is your interpretation we are 95 percent confident that the fraction of the defective integrated circuit produced in a photolithographic process is between 3.08 percent and 9.92 percent so here you must convert your answer into percentage, alright? And then don't forget to put the unit here, right? Because this is proportion. The value is between 0 and 1 if it's a probability. Uh, but it can be converted to uh, percentage. So from 0 to 100%. Alright, now look question number B, alright? How large the sample would be if we wish to be at least 95% confident that the error in estimating p is less than 0 0.02 right so if you look here they are talking about sample how large sample they should done or they should be collect okay so here you can see they want they ask you about sample size what is the sample size okay if you look a uh, statistical table page uh, 6 or not page 6 page 8 the formula is there, isn't it? So, you can see this is the formula. So, you have E, you have P, you have critical value. So, here, you can see that at least 95% confident. So, you know your alpha, right? So, actually, the value is similar with previous question, okay? And the error in estimating P is less than 0 0.02 so this is the error so that's mean this is your e capital e all right your error so once you get the answer i mean once you get the value so this is the formula okay so this one you get it from previous question which is the value 1.9600 and then your error is 0 0.02 and then this is your p okay uh, because this is uh, in one question, okay, because this is in one question, so the P is using from question A, okay, so that's why your P is 0 0.0650 and this is your Q1 minus 0 0.0650. So your answer here should be for the small places, which is 583.6831. And yeah, I forgot. This is notation for at least, okay? At least, that's mean, uh, paling sikit, okay? So, it should be greater than equal. Some question, they will be at most, or some, some question at, alright? So, you must alert also here, this one. Is it at least, at most, or at, right? So, in this example, at least. So, it should be greater than equal. So, once you get the answer in four decimal places, you need to round up to the next value, okay? Because this is uh, in statistic, uh, this is sample, you don't have it half. For for example, circuit, you don't have 583.68 circuit, isn't it? 
it will be in a round uh, number right so that's why we have right so that's why you have uh, 584 circuit all right so now we go to the next question uh, which is question c so if you look question c construct a one-sided 95 percent lower bound confident interval and now in this example you can see here you have one-sided okay one-sided 95 percent lower bound okay so when they say one-sided and that it's a lower bound you can see that from the curve here all right let's say this is the figure or this is the curve so lower bound will be at your left side all right and this is one-sided your alpha should not divide by two so that's why here it become alpha only 0 0.05 Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So lower bound confident interval on the fraction of defective circuit. So again here they ask the same thing. Okay, they ask proportion for which which one? Defective circuit. So the same x which is 13. Alright. Uh, sometimes uh uh, the question will ask you non-defective circuit so your p will be different okay but in this case they ask the same thing which is defective circuit so for one sided lower bound so you, this is the formula okay it's your left formula all right even from the full formula here uh, the left side but the alpha should not divide by two okay so if you look the solution here your alpha is 0 0.05 do not divide by 2 because this is one sided so if you look at table page 36 your z table okay look alpha 0 0.05 you get a value z alpha 1.6449 and then this is a lower bound so the left side so it should be minus okay and then until to the right you have one okay because this is proportion your value should be between zero and one since you calculate the lower bound so the upper bound should be maximum equal with one so you just substitute the value into the formula you have your p in previous question and then you have your z value here then you just calculate you get 0 0.0363 until one so here you have two marks as well that's why you should know you calculate from where to where so in this case from lower to the right which is one and then next you should interpret the answer all right so here you can see how to interpret we are 95 percent confident that the fraction of the defective integrated circuit produced in a photolithography process that contain one-sided lower bound is between 3.63 percent to 100 percent okay so here remember in interpretation you should convert your answer to this uh, to percentage okay and then the unit should be there lah okay otherwise it will be kks one mark okay deduct one mark all right okay so i think uh, that's all for today okay uh, i want you to try uh, for sure as a student you must do this question these two exercise question okay but i want uh, to look question number two Right then, I will uh, maybe discuss during the uh, online class. Okay, uh, so thank you, class. Hope uh, you enjoy your reading. Thank you.